Yes, good afternoon. Right now it's roughly about uh, six minutes past one and today is 13th of November, 13th of December 2017. So let's talk about Nifty. Today, you know, as I've been telling you, I don't know how many of you follow me on a regular basis, but I've been telling that to me, the stance on Nifty is positive. Means Nifty from me in a positive zone because 10 moving average and the 50 moving average have crossed 200 moving average. Although yesterday entire day it was going down yet and, and also I said I'm not going to enter here when it's crossing. I would wait for it to take a support and then I'm going to enter into it. So this was our purchase price. Today morning when the morning range, range broke, when the morning range was broken, that was the time for us to go long right that was for us to tie of uh, that was the time for us to go long in nifty right so the moment this morning range broke and it took a support see it's heavily went up right now what do we expect what should be our expectation from nifty right how much will it go up and it's already uh, made a run up of 57 points so how much do we more expect so let me just put pivot point for that and show it to you what could be a possible scenario. So let me put the pivot points and see here. Now to me, if it goes up, you know, like there is a possibility for it to, for Nifty to go up, you know, till this point, you know, which is 10365. That is the run up. See, it's taking a good support on R1, right? Now, R1 yesterday it was not being able to cross that was the resistance sorry this was S1 it was taking a resistance today it is taking a support on R1 for so many days so many uh, hours 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 candles 8 candles means 2 hours it's been taking a support I'm 100% sure it's waiting for international markets to open and then take a cue from there and take the direction and by looking at the candle pattern right now to me it looks positive and I want to read out the uh, you know the option chain also for you see this call unwinding happening here right and call unwinding happening it here and here and here and here is indication that the nifty plans to go up right and where is the ceiling so the highest ceiling is at this point you know which is 10,200 and where are we right now? 10,286. Okay. Now the next ceiling, next support that we have is basically 10,300. If it crosses 10,300, then it forms a very, very good support at that point also. But first and foremost, it has to cross 10,300. And which I feel should not be an issue for Nifty, right? Should not be an issue for Nifty because this place is far, far away. This is at 10,000. The, okay, this is future and cash, it is 10,289. I, what I personally believe that very soon, you know, it is going to cross this barrier of 10,300 and, and the moment it crosses 10,300, you know, uh, uh, in cash market, it will be easily going to its next target in the cash market, which is going up to 10,000, uh, 300 if it crosses then it will definitely go up to 10,360 that's the next target nifty has okay if not today tomorrow definitely all right so some of the stocks I have been you know keeping on my radar and I'm expecting them to have a breakout is what uh, Indo Indoco remedies Indoco remedies this is one stock that I have on my radar and as you have all seen uh, this is really doing well VIP clothings and Bombay dyeing has given good returns and advanced enzyme is still waiting for a kind of a breakout because there is a pivot point on the there is a resistance at the top and even Trident we have even yesterday is waiting for a it's, a, it's on a good support so hopefully it should give a good return one stock that I have given yesterday was Kridhan right Kridhan is Kridhan infrastructure is what I gave Today it has given a movement. Even you know, I gave another stock that was um, uh, Himmat Singhika. This will also give a good return 
very soon right this is also can, going to give a very very good return soon just hold it if you have this is one another stock that I have given right so wait wait till you get the good returns and in the morning I had some stocks on my radar uh, where we have done intraday trade one of them was Castrol India one of them was Castrol India and how we traded in that let me show you that also we have traded when this first candle was formed when this first candle was formed the moment <coughs> morning range broke with volume we entered into it right and it has given a good run up another stock that I had on my radar was uh, you know ONGC so we entered into it the moment our the, the moment morning range broke and it didn't give us much much run up as you know these R1 and R2 are very close by so we just traded it for one point right another trade that I have on my radar is Bharti Airtel Bharti Airtel if it breaks its morning range you know morning range is this if it breaks it in the upper direction we can expect a good return and another trade that I was closely monitoring was ACC ACC was also on my radar it has just given a breakout by taking a support on 200 moving average right these were my few stocks that I was closely watching and trading into them right so you know what I'm saying that please in case you want to learn how to trade in the market how do you like you want to understand the nitty-gritty of the market and you want to trade you have to learn about the market and we're going to start now our batch on 6th of January although we are getting an extremely good response from everywhere all corners of the world people are joining a lot of people from US Dubai and Middle East and um, you know even people have joined from uh, you know New Zealand and even South Africa people are joining and Netherlands a lot of people are joining in so I'm really waiting and watching you guys and one of the stock you know that was on my radar and that gave a breakout yesterday and it is you know I have told you I'm gonna keep I, I will leave it for you know like it's in a good uptrend good upward journey leave such a stock you know I've been repeatedly saying that my favorite uh, sector right now is biosciences so Geofic Bio and another stock that I found was let me just uh, see if I could look at uh, natural natural biosciences no natural biosciences or something like that you know that was nectar or nectar that was also looking very good to me nectar life sciences you know this was also looking very good to me this is a daily chart wait for it to come to a support and you can take an entry this looks very good to me you know for me it's on a very very reasonable value and it looks very very good to me let me just put it here for you and see what's happening in its weekly graph so nectar nectar life sciences nectar life sciences this is the graph and this is the daily graph I want to see its weekly graph because I want to so see this is the weekly graph let the stock be above 35 rupees the moment a next like if a green candle forms here it's definitely a point for us to enter right this is going to be a good stock see here it is in a in an uptrend right now right it has gone down but again uptrend is about to begin but we have to have a completely correct technical setup so we'll wait for the candles to go above 10 uh, above all the averages and then only we can enter into it not before that right so Jufic biosciences and nectar life sciences all these are my favorite stocks right these are my favorite stocks so in life sciences that's also another favorite stock that I have you know all these life sciences stocks I plan to enter and keep them for at least at least five years five years is my time frame for them and one more stock that I said was looking to me on a good good support in the daily graph was RAM key so you can wait a bit more because let it come down then there's a possibility for the stock to go up now let's let's just look into 
nifty and see what are the boundaries nifty has for itself right uh, let me just uh, go back here so nifty right now is in a narrow range so whenever nifty is in a narrow range or any particular stock you find in the narrow range you you just apply bollinger bands right what do you need to apply bollinger bands right and see what's happening whenever the breakout is happening in the bollinger band so right now it doesn't show us anything this is 15 minutes you can make your time frame smaller also see here nice narrow uh, you know neck is forming let this neck should broaden and also one more thing that I always tell whenever the broadening is happening please remember the bubble has to bloat in both the direction bubble has to bloat on both the direction right it means it's just not bloating in the top but it should be the bloating at the bottom that should also happen see this bloating here and this bloating here both the sides like if the bloating doesn't happen the breakout may not be huge right that is how you can decipher between a good Bollinger Band and a bad I mean, uh, a good breakout and not so good breakout so here see this this bloating happened and the prices went up so much right but the only thing is in this case because there is a gap up opening you will only don't you wouldn't have much of run up here right but another beautiful bloating was here see here and this is how gradually prices go up so this is a good breakout wait for five minutes breakout to happen now you can see squeezing is in prices happening means there is a breakout in the pipeline there may be something about to happen in the nifty so that is another indication and you can fine tune it with MACD and RSI you can fine tune what is happening in this band Bollinger Band by looking at MACD and RSI if MACD crosses up RSI takes a support and goes up it will go up and if it further goes down and RSI comes down means nifty plans to come down so that's another way of analyzing alright let's come back and see here in 15 minutes what's happening it's trying to just hold itself see it's going horizontal for so whenever the distance between the moving averages is fine it is one some something sh uh, sure that the prices will go and touch the 10 moving average then from there they will go up or go down right so whenever it's this means fall will be very close right until an, it's news driven until it's news driven there is a fall is very limited right so let's wait and watch but if I look into the you know let's see now I'm going to refresh it and see how this dynamics changing that matters a lot that really matters a lot see now call writing has increased means nifty definitely plans to go up right nifty definitely plans to go up that is what my perception is and as I told you if you have followed me if you have been following my past three four five videos I have been saying now my stance on nifty is positive but entry I will wait and I have entered here right I entered here when it took a good support on 200 moving average and I'm waiting for it to give me a good return right so this is how you can trade you know like so, so many people say why you analyze you know from the past this time I am doing live with you guys right this time I'm doing it live with you guys so there is no discrepancy there is no confusion I'm clear about what trade I talk about and what trade I discuss on YouTube I'm absolutely clear about them I do myself and that is why I tell you all right so one stock that is on my radar is a cane which is very very rock solid st stock and whenever you find it on a support go long it is graphite India always keep it on your radar every time it's a monopoly stock so even no matter how how high market goes monopoly stocks will always give you huge huge return right let's see what is how's ATG doing I haven't monitored it for long because that one stock gave oh my god look at it it is at 1931 do you remember where did I give it to you people I gave it at some around 300 something I gave it at around um, uh, 300 and something somewhere around 300 only I discussed about it and or maybe 500 something like that and see where is it right now within three four months 
1932 oh my god it was huge so see monopoly stocks have a very beautiful thing about them that they will go up 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 whenever they come to a support you can create positions in them and HED is again a monopoly stock why don't you all discover about it what this company does what are the future prospects what are the various projects they are working on why don't you explore it so that your trust on the company becomes higher explore the, its balance sheet explore what are the products it's making and track the news track the news which is coming on this particular stock so that you know what that it's the time for you to enter into or exit in from this stock so such stocks like HEG, Graphite India, Flips Carbon you should always track them with clarity okay Flips Carbon is also a very, on a very very nice support so in case anybody want to enter I'm sure this is a good opportunity and they definitely will take you to 1095 alright so with this I'm signing off to me nifty looks really positive if not today tomorrow it will cross its previous high which is 10,353 that's what I believe alright so with this I'm signing off I'm what waiting for you all I'm just waiting for you all to join the webinar and learn it correctly if you want to trade in the market if you want to have a passive income if you want best of CEOs to work for you you have to learn about the market you need to spot the correct trades you need to spot the you know trades which are about to give a breakout you know I uh, like I do teach you know intraday trades and that's how I was teaching Castrol India today you know today I, in the morning we did this trade but I would still say if equity gives you 10% move in next two days or three days I would never never do intraday I would rather have peaceful trading and I will have I'll be satisfied if my 30,000 rupees or 50,000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees give me in a week 10 to 15 percent return so if you want to do that kind of trading please join the webinar starting from 6th of January but whenever the moment you join you are you become the part of rockers group right so with this I'm signing off but waiting for you all every single person out there so that you can join and understand about the market good day bye bye see you tomorrow see you with determination to learn about the market and then only enter into it bye bye good day